Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I have a video um, about a, some hyaluronic acid and actually some new products. Usually when you buy new products, it's like, well, maybe some of it'll work, some of it won't. And I actually managed to get a whole bunch of products that really worked well. So I thought I'd go ahead and just uh, tell you about them. I have done shit or uh, touch-ups on the face today. It's actually later in the evening. And um, so I did want to go ahead and do a video. So I have touched up just about everywhere except for the foundation. And today I use the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I have mine in Fair. And then I added some of the Soul um, Face and Body Bronzer in Fair as well. So I have a combo of these two on. And um, if you do want to know, you can put bronzer drops in with the CoverGirl Essence Foundation. It works just fine. Uh, what I do is I pump a little bit of this out onto my hand, add a little bit of the bronzer, and then just kind of work it together in my fingers to get the uh, pigment beads to go ahead and break. And then go ahead and apply it with my fingers, and that works fine. I haven't had any problems with it. Hmm. As far as what I'm doing on the lips and is um, what I got from Dollar Store. And these are dupes for the Vinyl Colors by Maybelline. And so this is what I have on here. And then I did go ahead and add in a little bit of the e.l.f. Uh, this is their uh, lip oil and this one's in the jam color. So that's what I have on there. And again, this one works really well, and I've really been liking this one. They also have these lip glosses, and these are a little bit drier of a lipstick. The lip glosses have a lot of pigment to them, and it's actually more of a moisture kind of formula. So both of these are really good, and both are over at Dollar Tree. And then on that same shopping run, I went over to Ulta. I got the Essence Call Me Queen mascara that I'm really, really liking. And um, for me, I always want to get some length into my lashes. And I'm finding that I really like this formula as well. And again, it's Call Me Queen. You can get it over at Ulta. As far as what I did on the cheeks today, I started with the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. This is an all buttered up, and this one actually has a little bit of red in it. So, yeah, that's what I have on there. And then another new product I picked up over at Ulta are the ColourPop, the liquid blushes. And this one's in the shy color. It actually goes pretty uh, coral on me. And again, I think it's really good formula. I only find that I need a dot. If I want to go really heavy, I'll use two dots on each cheek, but it's really good formula. As far as what I did for the highlighter today, the Revolution, this is the Bubble Balm. And um, it's a balm with some beads in it, and the beads are pearl. And I got this over at Target. It's a highlighter, and it really gives you a wet glow with a little bit of pearl, but not a lot. So it really is more of a wet look. And again, really liking this one. At the Catrice Sungasm um, powder on for my finishing powder. This is pink with the uh, yeah, glitter in it. Well, it's more sparkles. It's not really glitter. And then on the eyes, I have a Cloud9 by ColourPop. This will definitely be in my best of the year because this is an amazing palette and I've really been loving it. Um, as far as cool tone palettes, I went ahead and started with this one that almost looks beige, but once you go ahead and get it, well, I put it in the crease, and this one actually goes a really pale blue. It's really pretty. And then I went ahead and put this blue right on the inner corner of the eye. Um, I did this, and this is, yeah, that color right there, right under the brow. And then right on the lid, what I did was I had him put this color. And I think this is a holographic shade. And I think that's one of the really special parts of this palette. Uh, with this particular glitter, um, 
yeah, it's sort of, well, let's see. Yeah, it has sparkles of all different colors in there, and that's sort of the definition of a holograph um, shadow to me anyway, is that the sparkles have all different colors in them, and it is a glitter, but it's really fine glitter formula. And again, really pretty. Um, I didn't use any of the deeper tones in this look. I went for a really summery look. And that's what I have on the eye. And again, this is a great palette. Oh, I saw this over at Alto when I was over there, so they're carrying it over there. If you want to experiment with some cool tones and you don't feel that you want something, you know, really loud, then I would definitely go ahead and try this one out because as far as cool tone palettes, it's gorgeous. And um, let me see what else I used. I think that's about all. Yeah, that's all that I went ahead and used. I've been using hyaluronic acid um, products in my hair, and my curl has loosened up. Uh, usually what I have is that really dry, really coarse, thick hair where it curls, and it just won't let go of the curl because it's so dry. And even using moisturizing uh, shampoos like uh, the Shea Butter, and it just, my curl would never let go. And I've been using a whole bunch of products, and I went ahead and brought them in. The one that I'm actually questioning at this point is Garnet Pure Moisture. Um, I haven't been able to find it, so I'm going to go back and check and see. I really like this whole line. I have the, um, the hair dryer, the heat protectant as well that again has hyaluronic acid and the cucumber extract and so this one I haven't seen on shelves I'm hoping that they haven't discontinued it and then what I'm currently using is another this is a Pantene Pro-V daily moisture renewal and uh, this one has some hyaluronic acid in it too but it doesn't have it as a first ingredient kind of thing and then what I found over at Dollar Tree is the Hyaluronic Body Wash. And so this is supposed to be a dupe for the Dove one. It's $1.25. And I've really, really been liking this during the summer. Um, and I was really skeptical of it when I got it over at Dollar Tree. I thought, you know, can't do, I mean, I might as well try it. But it really does on your elbows and on your knees. It really does soften everything up. And hyaluronic acid is such an amazing product. The other one that I wanted to go ahead and mention, and I don't have room, so I have everything on the floor here, is the um, Hado Labo. They're premium, um, and as far as their hyaluronic lotion, it has seven different kinds or seven weights of hyaluronic acid. So some sit on top of the skin, some go deep, and some go in the middle of the skin. And so I've always, this is over on Amazon, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, the Pantene I got over at Walmart. Like I said, the body wash was Dollar Tree, and the, um, the Garnier, uh, that one was Walmart as well. And so I went ahead and just have been really loving. My hair feels so nice and soft. And like I said, the curl just sort of relaxed. And so now I, I'm able to do other things with my hair, which is a lot of fun because the older I got, the curlier and the more scrunched it got. And with this, it just relaxes it so much. And I think that's probably the video for today. I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.